Today we will talk about the mouth parts of honeybee. Now this uh, insect is a very important insect pollinator, pollinator species and very important as far as diversity is concerned, it maintains the biodiversity, stabilizes the biosphere. But then uh, in addition UGC has banned the animal dissections. But uh, in any case, uh, some of the syllabus uh, of some universities still maintain, have included this into their syllabus. So we are, we have to teach the students. And so as a small uh, supplementary material for the students, this is being done. So mouth parts, uh, every animal has uh, parts which are required to chew the food or manipulate the food, collect the food, etc. So these are um, an important group of insect. Uh, they have modified a uh, primitive group of infect insect because uh, they do have the man uh, mandibles. We have talked about the different parts. We have studied about these, uh, the parts of the Today we will talk about the mouth parts of honeybee. Uh, honeybee is an important insect pollinator. The mouth parts have been adapted to collect the honey, uh, like maybe like lapping type or uh, sponging type. But the, the mandibles are a very important structure there, and we have included them under the mandibulate type of mouth parts. Mouth parts uh, have basically a few structures which we have uh, studied earlier when we studied about uh, cockroach. They have uh, mainly five parts. They have the upper lip, the lower lip, the mandibles, and the maxilla. And these are the important uh, parts of the mouth parts, important uh, parts uh, which help in collecting their food. Now, in the case of honeybee, they have modified uh, into uh, a specialized structure which will help them to uh, draw or lap the nectar from the flower. Now, they do have the mandibles. This forms the upper lip. This is the head region. This is the vertex and the tip of the mouth, uh, the uh, important structure here, the upper limb, the upper lip, uh, we call it as the labrum and these are the mandibles now the other parts of the mouth which are which have been folded onto the back side posterior side of the head now these this can be cut from this to mount in order to mount this we can cut at this point with the help of a blade and then these two structures can be pulled apart or they can be mounted as such under a slide they're slightly harder sclerite structure slightly harder so cover slip might break so it would be better to put it under two slides so that they do not uh, get uh, the slide cover slip do not get damaged now this is the figure in which the proboscis is, is uh, being uh, cleaned or projected out now this is the structure this is the combination of the maxilla as well as the lower lip together forms a structure we call this as the proboscis now this acts like a tubular structure uh, in which the uh, labellum the interior part or the lower lip is modified and the tip of that uh, which uh, we call it as a labellum a flabellum which is uh, inserted into the flower or into the liquid or into the nectar and that is drawn into the mouth so this is the anterior or the front side of the head and uh, the upper lip and the mandibles are seen here on the side and these structures are the proboscis parts of the proboscis if you see from behind the head you can see this particular uh, structure or this particular arrangement the the proboscis which is actually as i told earlier the modified part of the maxilla and the uh, labium uh, two parts this is the labium and this is the maxilla so they are attached uh, onto the head region so simply by pulling this structure these two points will be released the cardo uh, 
the point of attachment cardo is the uh, basal part which is attached to the um, sclerite of the head of the capsule so that can be pulled apart so at the anterior region you can cut on this particular point that is just behind this can also be pulled apart this mandibles i mean the mandibles can be pulled apart or it can be cut at this point uh, and this can be mounted on a slide and pressed with another slide so that this portion will be very clearly seen as we can see in the next slide so this is the proboscis the diagram of the proboscis so the lower segment cardo stipes the maxillary pulps and the maxilla so this uh, and together with the labium this is the uh, submentum the mentum the paraglossa and the uh, glossa and paraglossa together they all these structures together they form a, a hollow structure through which this uh, part the tip of this labellum spoon or the flabellum can be dipped into the nectar and it is drawn in through the hollow structure these two uh, are arranged they get arranged uh, as a hollow tube through which this can be drawn into the mouth so this is a uh, uh, though it belongs to mandibulate type of uh, mouth part this these two structures these two structures uh, have uh, taken a different form as we say the structure of the organism or structure of any particular part of the body follows the function or based on the function it allows depending upon the type of function that it has to carry out so this is what we have to do we have to cut at this point with the help of a sharp blade and then mount this so this can be pulled apart this is actually the proboscis part the mandibles are clearly visible here this is the upper lip so we can remove this part and see the these two parts separately this is a diagram which uh, can be used to label so here it has been pulled out so the cardo uh, can be seen very um, cardo and the stipe and i mean this is the maxilla and this is the um, labium the lower lip so the upper lip is here and the mandibles so cut here and these two can be mounted and when you press this together what happens is they just get projected and displayed very well so this is uh, is how it can mount them uh, in order to obtain the mark so to label the parts lab labium labrum mandibles the maxilla and the labium so you can just uh, label them very clearly it would be very easy to fetch marks good luck